rotation. We just got finished up with that central you saw in the last video. Uh, picking up a 2009 Dodge Ram. It's supposed to be a rollover. Uh, I'm not sure if it's back on its wheels, if it's currently still rolled. Uh, the driver was said to have been out of the vehicle and walking around. So we will see how bad it is when we get there. Thankfully it sounds like he was uninjured. If you would, please keep everybody in your thoughts and prayers. We are headed that way. Thanks for watching guys. Alright, we are on scene. How's it going? Uh, Guessing it's the one on its side? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. What do we have? Mailboxes. Fence post. So we're probably going to have to get it forward a little bit before I can even roll it. Uh, I can hopefully pull up over this way. It seems solid over here. Good. Pictures. Ran through all their mailboxes. So I'm going to pull up right over here. Let me go ahead and pull in, like right here. Okay. Um, yeah, let me, let me it, you should you should be okay right there. I should, I should be able to come in right here. My guardian angel turned on. I was literally on my way home from that last one. When this one came in. busy night. Thankfully it looks like the uh, occupants are unharmed. So much worried about the limbs. I'd like to get some of the mailbox stuff out of the way. This big limb I would like to move. stuff I'm not going to be able to get. But I don't want all this junk under it if I don't have to. Like some kind of a 
cooler. Drag out so we can throw in the bed. going to be an interesting one. Stuff like this. Have this 20 foot chain and this pair link. Guess we are going to grab this lower link here. Ooh, this is the wrong chain. This stuff. All right, come to this leaf spring here. Do the same thing. Now put my pair link on be able to adjust each leg individually I really like to drag this thing forward a little bit get it positioned away from that fence Hook this from here. I'm trying to think. Get a rig down low. I think it's gonna want to roll regardless. Get my uh, winch cable out here. All that stuff on here. Look at uh, the angles here. Adjust this to match that each leg comes out tight. Oh, this one came off the top. I don't know. 
at work. I grabbed my snatch block. Yeah, Campbell or uh, the county's rules are it has to go to the yard yeah. and then we can release it and take it to where they want it to go. Yeah. Okay. So it'll have to go to the yard and then they can have us tow it out. Okay, that's good. So, you need me to sign? Yeah. Uh, I think he's going to want to take the keys out. I'm not sure. Okay. The keys are in the for right now. All right. Appreciate it. Let me check my rigging before I roll it. See how both legs are tight there. I'm going to step off to the side so I can watch. Spring came down a little easier than I was expecting. times I would have hooked up my bridle first but on this one we got plenty of room what's that yeah Yeah, no, tires are good. That fender, that headlight. Oh, yeah, that one got it good. Can you peek in there because you're a little bit taller? Oh. <laughs> uh, let me grab mine. I'm trying to grab. can use this one. Can. 
these trucks, how the axles are. It's hard to get J hooks. Market lift kit on it, which come down right by the frame slots here. See if can't. Get it snatch blocked over. Check and see what gear it's in. Yeah, it's going to fight me. I'm going to be able to open that door. could position myself back a little bit. I'm gonna try to drag it around. See if wheels will roll for me. Not really. change the angle of my snatch block to pull more over. If this don't work, then I will pull up in front of it so I can control the steering angle better. There we go. stuff here. Yeah, it's whole axles coming out from underneath it. Axles twisted. So let me chain that in place. Side. 
it's the hardest to get to. to a frame slot if we can find it. All right, so what I've done is just wrapped around the chain and the leaf, kind of made an X around it, hooked into the leaf spring mount so that the axle, the chain goes tight and the axle can't walk off that leaf spring anymore. in some more. Need that thing to come up. block off of it now. so that they slide straight. Hopefully they don't want to roll over my blocks. There we go. There goes the drive shaft. Watch that drive shaft. J-hook to the axle on this one. Grab it in there. 
best I got right now. strap tires uh, their office hours well it's Sunday uh -huh. as far as releasing vehicles we release it vehicles 24 7 with an hour's notice if he wants property out of it they release property Monday through Friday, nine to five, normal business hours. Yeah, yeah, it just, uh, let me get him a business card. Is he still, is he still here? Yeah. Get him a business card. Yeah, that, that Angleton address and everything, all the phone numbers, that's all, all, all of our stuff there. Uh huh? Unfortunately, this jurisdiction says we have to take the vehicle to our yard before we can release it. Would much rather take it straight to their house or wherever they want. So that way we get paid, we don't have to have all the storage and all that hassle and drop it and then tow it away and do it all in one shot and be done with it. See what other cleanup we got over there real quick. And we'll be done with this one. The sun coming up. I've been out running rotations since like 2 a.m. See if there's anything other than like vehicle related over here. I know there's a fender flare in here somewhere. Fender flare's over there. other vehicle related here. This one yours? Yeah. This one yours? Yeah, I was the one that tried the uh, accident. You good? I'm good, but my truck. I know, man. It's a pretty truck, too. I know. I'm just, I'm just trying to see if I can be able to fix it. Yeah, I mean, it. a little bit of body damage, the axles twisted off, the U-bolts broke off the leaf springs, but I mean, other than that, it didn't seem too bad. I don't know if the axles twisted, but it came off the, it came, it came off the leaf springs for sure. So my friend, see how's it going? Again? Yeah. <laughs> How y'all doing? All right. I'm my nephew. Nephew. Mm. Hey. As long as he's good, yeah, you, we got you can. Yeah, we take it to, the, to my ranch. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's, that's the well you're going to put over there. That's where you save it some money and right. fix it. I wish I could, but how county is, mm -hmm. they say we have to take it to the yard first. That's okay. So, but. Uh, In the morning, you can. Yeah, uh, 20, just, just call, our, call our dispatchers and they can, they can they, set it all up. Okay. 
It's going to our yard here, right here in Angleton. So. Yes, 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 yes. I know what it is. The old, old place that uh, Toyota, right? Right, yeah, the old Toyota dealership. Yep. All right, I guess. Let me see if the cops are good with me and I'm going to roll out. All right. Yeah, thank you, man. No problem. Y'all have a good one. Uh -huh. All right, so we cleared the scene. Got it loaded up. The uh, driver was actually one of our customer's nephews. I towed uh, his uh, one of their trucks the other day. Uh, I'm glad to see their, everybody's all good. The driver was uninjured. They had EMS check him out and stuff there. He was out walking around, just kind of more upset about his truck than anything. It's a really nice, lifted, decent truck. So. But you can fix the truck, it's not hard to fix a person. So he's good, and that's the most important part. So keep them in your thoughts and prayers. They're gonna, they're gonna need a few of them. So we are headed to the yard. Get this thing unloaded. Thanks for watching, guys. here at the yard get this thing unloaded stick it over here in kind of an open part of the yard where I can have plenty of room I'm expecting to haul this thing away pretty uh, quick today no point in Putting it way back over there in the yard. This one I'm pretty sure is going to get picked up. Say Ram 2500 diesel. And then some of the body damage and stuff like that, it really didn't come out. As bad as I've seen some of them. Definitely got lucky, especially rolling through all them trees and the fence, and mailboxes. He got lucky he didn't get hurt. that uh that uh axle will let us roll this thing out get my chains off of it now Don't need it. Need the uh, axle chained in place anymore.
this stuff off. Small chain on. This one's probably gonna be a little bit harder. been a very busy night there were three county rotations back to back first one came in as an arrest that one was just in the middle of the road I didn't record that one although I wished I would have now it was how foggy it was last night we were literally in the middle of a major highway. I guess that's where we decided to pull over at. He ended up going to jail, so we towed his truck. As soon as I got loaded up with that one, headed out with it, then uh, the call for the uh, uh, maroon Honda that you saw in the video prior to this one we got that rotation again while I was hauling that one heard this one come in and we got this one alright let's see if this thing will roll off for us Obviously, we don't have to worry about putting it in park because the drive shaft is disconnected. I'm going to stand the bed up a little bit here. One more angle. Not quite going to roll for us. See if I can't. I think it's catching the bed on the other side there which I just remembered I cannot open that door. So I gotta go to the other side. Yeah, that's probably what's stopping us there. So if I can get the steering straightened up, probably get the thing to roll off. We can go about this a different way. Put my blocks back in front. tires here or I guess technically behind them right there enough space to get a block here because the uh, e-brake don't work table and everything's pulled apart so I'm gonna need something to 
keep it from wanting to roll on us. Put this bigger block here. This block in front of the tire there. Table got some slack in it. Blocks good here. This one, like the last couple of them, there's a risk of it rolling to wanting to roll away, so I'm gonna leave my winch cable engaged while I walk. Got a call for another rotation, but obviously we're a little bit busy. It's fine. This one was just a in a rest in Freeport, so it wasn't anything. I don't think that necessarily requires a a flatbed or anything. Thing to send one of the other trucks. going to pull this block here now and extend out on my bed before the uh, what was I saying? Extend out because I don't want the end, I don't want the heavy end of the truck too far back here because that'll put a lot of strain on the hydraulics and make this thing kind of want to pop a wheelie. Ooh, might have to rethink our plan here. Drive shaft's twisting up catching the fuel tank. We don't want that. Axle's twisting back straight. Might be a good thing for us. I wish this thing would want to roll off for us. Doesn't really seem like it wants to go anywhere now. So we are going to just call that good and walk out from under it like normal now. The wheels seem pretty straight. Like I've shown in a couple other videos, for my truck at least, this fourth bed slot, so there's four bed slots. When that bed slot is even with you, that's as far in as you can get the bed and still have enough pressure to lift the rear end of the truck to walk out from underneath it. So, We are 
are going to keep walking out. Too far on that one. Definitely gonna have to walk or uh, wash my bed off now. All right, and that one's off. Now I can get it unhooked. Just gotta get my blocks out from underneath it. That one's good. axles pulled back out of it. Still got a little weight on it. Alright, got this one unloaded. I gotta do some cleanup. I've had a long night. Hopefully try to go and get some rest. Be ready for whatever happens next. Thank you guys for watching. If y'all would, please subscribe, like, and share.